how do I eliminate the fraction here? I see some of you are uh, typing your answer. Anyone? The mic? Jennifer? Yeah, multiply it by the LCD, okay, which would be PQS. We find the uh, LCD among everything would be PQF. And then you multiply each term by that. When you multiply each term by LCD, then you can eliminate the fractions. You need the linear equation, and then you can solve for anything you want. So this is my LCD. And then I would multiply each term by that. Here I have 1 over E. You have 1 over Q. You have 1 over F. And by doing that, you see that P over Q returns to 1, and then the Q over Q turns to 1, F over F turns to 1. Can somebody tell me what do I get for the f in the first term then? What do I get here? What would your first term turn to? Just GF, right? QF. QF. The second term would be just PF. Plus PF equals PQ, not equals equals. The first equal should be a plus sign. Okay. Now we're going to solve for solve for Q. So how are we going to solve for Q here? Here I have a Q in there, this term, also this one. So what would be my next step here, anyone? Would you divide both sides by PQ? Because we're looking for a variable that appears in more than one place, what we need to do is to move all the terms that contains Q in one side of the equation. So I have Q, F. If I subtract P, Q from both sides of the equation, I can move that to the left. And if I subtract C, F, and I can move the PF to the right. Okay? So we see what we're doing so far. So I moved these two terms to the left, which contains Q in there. That's what we're solving for, for Q. So what would be the next step here? Anyone? Divide by Q? Not divide by Q, anything else? Divide by the PS, so on the other side it will cancel out. No? Anyone else? Multiply by Q? No, not multiply either. Remember, you're solving for Q. How would I solve for Q? I want to isolate Q. Somebody put in the chat box, uh, eliminate F. No. Uh, somebody says subtract PF from both sides. No. Anyone else? The 
correct answer would be factor the queue. You have to factor the queue out. You want to isolate queue, so you need to factor the queue out. If I factor a queue on the left hand side, what do I get inside the parentheses? F minus P. Right, F minus P. So now how would I solve for Q? Divide both sides by F minus P. Yes. Divide, now I can divide both sides by F F minus P. And that's how you isolate Q. So if you see a variable you're solving for appear in more than one place, then you just need to factor it out. Factor that. And that's how you can eliminate the other variables and isolate Q.